So, hello guys. Welcome back. Uh, again, we are going to discuss one more important uh, entry question and answers. In this video, we will try to solve the given problem. The problem is find the first occurrence of two numbers which gives sum of 10. Okay, it is easy. This array has been provided by interviewer. Okay, and he is expecting this kind of an output. If you notice clearly, the ask was you have to check whether first and second element sum. If it is 10, then return those two and break there. Let us assume if this two elements of a array is not equal to 10, then go ahead and see the rest of the elements. You mean 4 plus 6, if it is giving 10, then break it and return 4 comma 6. Okay. Like that, we have to traverse till end of this array if you not able to get the required output. Hope you understand the use case. Okay. I will explain one method, but there could be multiple methods to solve this. You can choose whatever is easy for you. Okay. Let's move. So here we got the requirement and we understood that we should traverse this elements, right? So in this case, what I will do, let us say I want to calculate length of the array. So what is the formula? It is simple. Len method is there. You can use a pre-built method. It will give you length of the array. Can anyone please guess what is the length of the array? If you are not clear, just type print 10. It will give you a length of the array. See, length of the array is 9. That means, you know, right? Index starts from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that means total 9 elements in this array. Right, we got it, right? So here n is 9. Fine. And to loop, I want one variable. Clear i equal to 0. Let's implement required logic. So here requirement is clearly if you get expected output in first attempt, then you no need to check other rest of the elements in the array. Correct? That means indirectly we have to break that loop if you get an expected output. Correct? In this case, while loop is more suitable. Let me check it. While i less than n minus 1. I will, I will let you know why I take an n minus 1 instead of n. Okay, don't worry. If if this condition is true, then then I want to sum sum of first two elements of array. That means if array of i plus array of i plus one equal to equal to ten, then what we have to do? This is what we are requirement, right? If it is true, then I want these two elements. Okay. So just print it. Array of i, comma, array of i plus 1. Okay. Yes. If this condition is true, I want these two elements. That is what the requirement. Whatever expected output, we got it. Right. In that case, I don't want to check rest of the elements from the array. Simply, you can break that loop. All right. Okay. If you break that loop, we are done. Correct? Now, case two. If 1 plus 4 equal to 5, right? That means this loop is false. This condition is false. Which means we have to check 4 and 6 sum also. Right? Which means i is incrementing, right? In order to check this two sum, uh, we have to increment i index of the array from 0 to 1. Correct? So, what I will do is just come out of this loop and increment i. i equal to i plus 1. Right? Now, so it will keep on, you know, continue and check this logic. If it is done, then it will give a required output. If if let us say if there are no such elements which gives you sum of two, 
then in that case we have to print our output right what is what you will print else print print no first occurrence of two numbers which gives 10 just you can write anything i just i want to write this so i think i'm done so let's go ahead and run this program see we got 4 comma 6 now what it is doing it is doing first of all going to first condition zero is less than eight yes then go checking second condition array of zero is one array of one is four one plus four five so this condition is not getting true then it will come out of this if then increment i equal to i plus one that means now i equal to one right zero plus one one now again it will go here one is less than eight yes it is eight then again i uh, array of one is four array of two is six four plus six equal to ten yes this is true that means it will return the expected values okay now we reached our final out output right then it will break and it will come out of this complete while loop and uh, then else block won't be executed in that case we will get a directly our output if let us say there is no match okay let us let us assume just uh, take it uh, this is two okay and then run it see here no first occurrence of two numbers which gives us 10 that means you take any two it won't give a uh, the sum equal to 10 that is why you are getting this message from else block if it is uh, let us assume i will uh, add a uh, four comma six okay i will add four comma six then run it see here it went to till here and it printed four comma six okay guys hope it will helpful thank you for watching